so Morbius came out and came out after many delays came out Morbius is here now directed by Daniel Dan Dan Daniel Espinosa Morbius is new Sony verse Sony verse movie after Venom 2 let it be carnage and this is my review uh my thoughts we, let's go into let's go into the pros first cuz I did not enjoy this movie this movie is not good it's i think it's very bad this movie just fails and the trailers just just watch trailers it, it it's like a misleading with this the marketing is a mislead this just don't i'll start with the pros first well the cgi effects are cool the visual effects are cool the the there's some cgi stuff here that looks weird but it looks it looks good it's a good looking cool movie for most for most uh, for the most part it's positive and matt smith besides his character which i'll go into as cons matt smith and matt matt smith he uh he saves this movie from not being terrible or not being terrible because he's having fun in this movie he saved this movie for me. Any scene he's in in this movie, I'm not gonna spoil it, even if I want to. He steals this. He steals this movie for any scene he's in, and he makes it less boring. Then it makes it less boring. Other than that, that's my positives. That's all I have. But on to my cons now. This movie is boring so boring this movie has problems with pacing and for this this movie moves at a brisk fast pace this movie wants to get to the vampire stuff really quickly really quickly and i guess the brisk pace is good but for a movie that runs that has a pace very good pace or like a very not very good pace but a very brisk pace this movie's pretty boring it's so boring it's it's just it's like this movie like this movie fits in like the early 2000s era when when besides having some good to great good or and great comic book movies most of them were just crap and this one this is not a good movie on its own merits and the cons here are besides being seen it's boring this movie feels like it's trimmed down this i if you've seen the trailers if you've seen the trailers this movie this movie looks like it has a lot of deleted scenes to it and maybe because this this movie was marketed as a like connection to spider-man before no way home came out and that's why it feels very trimmed down this feels like this this movie feels like this movie really feels like there's scenes here that should be added but they aren't and they're just cut just completely and now we just have a bare bones superhero movie that's super predictable super predictable and the characters are not good these characters these characters aren't good and they're and the script is god awful it's it's terrible this the script is be honest it doesn't do a good job on developing these characters like the only the character the characters that have the most character in this movie is milo and michael that's the only ones but it, like a little bit of character to him. That's it. And the acting for the most part. I'd say. I wasn't. I wasn't excited when I saw. Jolo was another. 
comic book movie because he was in Suicide Squad and I thought Suicide Squad was a terrible movie. And not to David Ayer's fault. is because the studio messed it up and they made they made his they made his like Joker be more goofy and stuff. I did not like that and he was to me a terrible joker to me. He is boring. He's giving such a serious dead for He's just giving such a boring and serious performance here. I see how people, I see how people reviewing this that are praising him. I'm not, I, I'm just saying my opinion. I just thought he was boring in this movie. This boring in this movie, the love interest that Morbius has, she's a useless character. She's just the standard love interest for a superhero movie. She's just there to be a trope at this point. She's just the love interest, and there's no chemistry with them. Anytime they're on screen, it's, bull it's again any. She's she's it's just there's no chemistry with them, and also problem here. Any scene that doesn't have Milo, it's just boring. And also the cop characters in this movie. The cop characters in this movie, this no, they just they're kind of they feel like they're just there in the background these cop characters feel like they're just in the back they're just there these cop characters tyrese and um, I, I can't get the actress the other actor's name the second cop but they feel like they feel like forgettable characters that are, that are just here to be cop characters to investigate these these like like i guess murders from these dead bodies from like morbius or from these dead bodies and that's it they're they're nothing there's nothing to them i was not expecting much out of, the, of morbius and the trailers didn't get me i didn't i wasn't excited i wasn't like oh i need to go see this in theaters no i would have waited for this movie to hit streaming but i want to see this I wanted to watch it mainly for the Spider-Man connections. The fact that they're cut out of this movie, I don't care. They, I, I did not enjoy this movie at all. It's very bad, very super boring. And the only thing that keeps me from being terrible is Matt Smith. And also, I forgot to give one con, is the action scenes in this movie. They're not good. They're very average. They're in this. They're very average. They feel so tame with this violence. There's a little bit of blood, but again, this is another PG-13 anti-hero movie, and this is a vampire movie, and I they're usually rated R. This is PG-13, and the way they go at it, the the way they go past the age of PG-13 here is they give they give Morbius or Michael this like blood this blood that's like blue very blue there's like it's like it's fake blood but I'm like or I don't, I don't know but just this blue blood it looks like that looks like Kool-Aid and like that's their way of going that's the way that's the way they have blood in this movie since the PG-13. Uh, just, just, I don't even care. Um, but this movie, I won't, I won't judge, I'm not judging anyone, this, I'm not judging anyone if people enjoy this movie. Uh, but I didn't enjoy this movie. And I will give this maybe like a three or two out of 10. I'm not sure, just a two. It is very bad. Maybe like a 2.5. I'm giving it like a 2, 2.5. It's just, no. But I would love to see what you, but I would love to see what you guys, what you got about the, sorry. Um, I would love to see what uh, you guys think about this movie, what you think, like if you enjoyed it or you didn't. I want to see your thoughts, but thank you, bye. I forgot to talk about the uh, con I have with Matt Smith with uh, Milo slash Matt Smith's character is that in just one scene when he figures out that 
Morbius becomes become when uh, Michael becomes Morbius, he um, Milo uh, sees how well how better he is, how better he is when he becomes Morbius and he can walk better, he can move better. That he that uh, Milo becomes just and want becomes more jealous and wants to have the same powers he has and in just that scene he becomes a villain so that's the reason i just don't like and the villains is he's a very weak villain he just becomes a villain because of that they he just becomes villain too quickly